So Isaiah 46, a voice says cry, and I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows on it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. So I, I was thinking about this, <clears throat> and uh, uh, it got me reflecting on some other things. I, I like to look up at the moon sometimes and think about the fact that you know, that moon is almost like a universal human experience, right? So my fourth great-grandfather looked up at that same moon and George Washington and Napoleon and, you know, the Egyptian pharaohs, Moses, Jesus, Adam and Eve. We've all looked up at that same moon. That yeah. thing is just there throughout all this sweep of human history. But that moon comes into being through the power of the Word of God. God speaks that moon into existence. So the Word was prior to even the moon and the stars and those things. And when that moon is burnt up and uh, the, this creation's rolled up like a scroll, uh, the Word of God will still be there. And I think about how that, like, we're, compared to the moon, we're like just a flash in the pan. And yet... Um, we make all these decisions all week. You know, we've, we prioritize all these things. I'm too busy to study this week. I'm too busy to read my Bible. I've, I've got much more important things to do. Uh, you know, we all do that. And you know what? The Word of God is, the, is eternal. It's, it's always there. It's never going to fade. I mean, we, it's, it's almost just ironic, right, that we sometimes uh, put ourselves in a position to make decisions about the word. When the word was there way before we were, we'll be there. And we'll be there when we're long gone from this planet anyway. And, uh, you know, we have this revelation from God. Uh, and because, because it reflects his thoughts, his judgments, it's just a treasure. And it's, it's solid. And, yeah. you know, more solid than the moon and the stars. And so... Uh, as just thinking about that as we <clears throat> come to Bible study, just to put things in perspective as to what, a, what an amazing thing it is for us to be able to slow down and to engage with, with God's Word. It is, uh, it's more um, fundamental than the world itself. And of course, Isaiah here is talking about his preaching to the people uh, uh, who are, uh, he says, are like grass, but... You know, we're, we're all like that. So let, let's go to the Lord in prayer uh, this morning as we prepare to study. <clears throat> Father, we thank you so much for your word. Uh, it's through your word that the universe was made. It's through your word, Lord, that life was given. It's through your word, Lord, that new life has been given. It's through your word that we are even aware mm -hmm. that we are sinners, that we are in need of salvation. It's, it's through your grace and revealing that to us, that who you are and providing a way for us to understand um, what we are. And through your word, Lord, that your spirit works to put a new heart in us. And we pray that your spirit would strengthen our desire to, to know you better through your word, to be comforted by it, to be challenged by it, or where we need to be. Lord, let us, uh, let us recognize that your word is everlasting, <clears throat> and we want to drink as deeply from it as we can while we have the opportunity that we might grow in, uh, in fruit, and uh, be able to work in a way that is pleasing to you and that you might, uh, we might hear you say someday, well done, good and faithful servants, mm -hmm. because we've listened to your instruction. We ask all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do something about this before. <clears throat> all right, so we, uh, 
I don't remember exactly where we left off on the verbs, but we were charting through some of these, some of the, the verbs in the main um, yeah. clauses. So um, we can take a look at that before we before we pick back up. Though, uh, any questions on that, on that? At least the con do you understand the concept? Did you get anything out of it? Did, you know, do you see how it can be used? Yeah, I see some nodding. Okay. Oh yes, absolutely. All right, so so I want to I just want to make sure because I think it's a really um, useful tool, when, especially when you get into when you get into a, a, a an argument or a portion of a book where it's it it's difficult to kind of track what's happening. This really forces you to focus in on who's doing what and why they're doing it and so forth. So um, I think it can reinforce the. The teaching or, or help bring things out sometimes sometimes it helps to illustrate when something changes in the in the text especially if it's a narrative so uh, again what I do is put the verse number the verb and then we go through the those questions who what when where why and how I think we were I think we stopped at destroyed didn't we in verse 10 where we I have did to not believe what were verse Verse five. Oh, we yeah. oh. subsequently destroyed, and then we did not believe. I'm sorry, we were at the other destroyed. We were destroyed in verse five. Not verse that. five. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm, I, I I remember talking about destroyed, so I looked at my sheet here and saw that there there's more than one. Okay. So let's just pick up there then. Um, the next the next one is those who do not believe, right? Is that That's the at? one we did. Oh, we did believe. Yes. So, and angels who did not keep their own domain. All right. So, um, who did not keep? Angels. The angels. What did they not keep? Okay. Their own domain. Does it tell us when? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. How? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't tell us any of that. He has kept in eternal bonds under darkness. So kept. Who has kept? He, God. Yeah. yeah. He or God. What has he kept? Angels. Angels. Yep. Yeah. Uh, when has he kept them? Has kept. So there's probably something in the Greek tense. The sense would be he did it in the past and is still keeping. Yeah. Thinking. So I think you could say you could say now, or you could connect it to what happened here. Is uh, you know after subsequently destroying he kept. Mm -hmm. I think either of those would work fine to. Okay, now it's shorter. Fits in. Yeah, <laughs> where? Where has he kept them? That's not a physical location, but in eternal bonds and under the, darkness. Does that? Yeah, that's what I have. Um, in in eternal bonds. Now you could put uh, uh, you could put that under how maybe. Yeah. Uh, so I actually, you know, I actually have this uh, uh, in eternal darkness, and I have in in uh, bonds as how, but I, I don't because we're not talking about a physical place. I think these are sort of you want to just capture that both of those. Uh, why? For judgment of the great day. For judgment, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I never yeah. want to answer because I always am afraid I'm going to be wrong. So no, you should kids that all the time in class. Don't then do that. Here you say, feel it. Right, I do feel it. And it makes no more sense no, for you. No, it doesn't, it does so that's why I'm just going to say it. Good especially sure. since you're Good the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, four with our teacher. If, if, uh, <laughs> if everybody else was here, I probably wouldn't have said that. But then after I say it, I'm like, and then after I hear that it's the right answer, I'm like, yeah, so, so it, you know, look, you, you can't be, we shouldn't be afraid to be wrong because uh, 
none of us none of us get it the first time around like perfectly and so if you're not wrong about anything you're not learning anything in the text that's why I tell them <laughs> so, yeah okay mistakes are how we learn Physician, heal thyself, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, that was like a King James. That was going way back there. Okay, so the next verb in the main clause we get to is uh, down in verse 8, yet in the same way these men defile. Defile. Okay. Who, who defiles? These men. The men, yeah, these men. What do they defile? The flesh. The flesh, yes. When? Um, nothing? Yeah, you could say now or you, or leave it blank. I mean, it, he, he's addressing this in the present tense, so a lot of times for those I just put like now or whatever. Oh, okay, he's, the, these men, he's back to right, he's talking certain of, persons that have crept okay. in, right? Gotcha. So, um, where? doesn't say really where or why, does he? Uh -uh. How? In the same way? Uh, by dreaming? By dreaming is what I had. Reason but you by could... Dream. So the defiling is bun, done by... Uh, by dreaming. But in the same way, I think... Uh, let's see. He's talking, he's making a connection back to these unbelievers earlier. The angels who didn't keep their domain. Yeah. He's making a connection between what these angels had done and what these men. That's why in the same way. But I, when he says, in the same way, these men also by dreaming defile. That's why I put how is, because he's telling us that's how they're defiling. Also by dreaming they defile. Okay. And reject. Who's rejecting? Okay, These. so we're on another verb. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Reject. Okay. Yeah, these men reject. What These do they reject? Authority. Authority. When are they doing it? Now. Yep. Where? No. Uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't say why. Mm -mm. How? By dreaming. I have all of these three that are connected with the and. I have by dreaming because I think um, and gives you an equivalent. This and this. Okay. Do you, do you see how that... And reject and revile. And revile. So the same thing. The, those are all going to go together usually okay. when you see that kind of statement. So these men, re, these men defile, these men reject, these men revile. Mm -hmm. Right? So they reject, or sorry, they uh, defile the flesh, reject authority, and revile angelic majesties. They're all doing this right now. He doesn't say where. He doesn't say why. It's all connected to him saying that by their dreaming, and these men also by dreaming, defile, reject, and revile. Does that, do you see that? Okay. I see it, but I don't understand what it means. Is that okay at this point? We're still just gathering. Yeah, so you're saying, I don't know what it means to revile an angelic majesty? By dreaming. By dreaming, right. So that's, that's fine. That's okay. You we're, leave that for Right. Now. So what we're going to do is, we've done all this background work, which we're getting ready to finish up, and then mm -hmm. we, it's almost like you have all, this, all these notes, and yeah. then you're going to go, okay, how does all this fit together? What yeah. does all that mean? That, so that's the next step. So don't worry about that right now. Okay. Uh, I do the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute. And then you're like, no, yeah, no, no, don't I do that. that. Just one. finish That's this so and then we'll go back to it. Hmm. Really, okay. the, way, the way that I do it and I would I suggest it to people is, uh, and I recognize somebody may not go through everything on the checklist, although I think oh. it would be helpful to, yeah. but I read it. So if there's 50 things on that checklist, read the letter 50 mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. and looking for each one of those things each time. Because if you try to just read it and look at all, look for all that stuff, you you will miss things. And so you want to say, okay, right now I'm going to look for verb stuff. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look for connections. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look for repeated things. And I'm going to go back and look for structure. So it does a couple things. One, just the process of reading something 50 times, you're going to be much more familiar with it. And uh, sometimes we, you, you know, later... Uh, you're gonna, you, as you read a commentary or hear a sermon or something like that, 
there's just because you know because you've read it so many you've just spent so much time with it um, somebody will say something and you'll or, or you'll read something in a commentary and you you will just sort of instinctually go yeah that's right or you'll say oh, I don't know about that you know what I mean just because okay. you, it, it's sort of like um, it's sort of like if you have a, a road that you drive all the time you know what I mean there's there's uh, mm -hmm. you, you just you know Okay, I'm gonna get. I gotta get over in the left up here because people, you know, or, or there's a pothole. Here. You you just you get to know the texture of it. The danger of going over it over and over is just like driving a road. You can just sort of go into a trance and not pay attention, which is why I say don't just read it 50 times, but read it intentionally. Pick a purpose for each reading. Okay. Does that make sense? So right now we're just doing this. We're not trying to figure out what it means. We're not trying to figure out the connections with the other stuff. Let's just get these notes down and then we can go back and see how it all fits together. So you do take notes every run through? Every run every through. I, I do. I do. Otherwise I would forget what I saw. Well, honestly. Right, so um, I, I don't have it with me on this one because I've been doing most of it on the word processor so that I can email I stuff out to you. That, but but I normally I just get a spiral bound notebook and I just you know put at the top what I'm looking for and jot down observations and then turn the page and do the do the same thing. Okay. Um, when as I started teaching more of these classes I started doing it in electronically because uh, pe after a while people get bogged down mm -hmm. you, you you feel like or I've had people tell me like I feel like we've done all this work and it's or they or they don't realize how much work they've done so then when you email them all the stuff they're like, oh yeah I forgot about that and that and that and it's like yeah okay you're you know, because when you're when you're going through it as a group, you're breaking this up. You know, it feels like it takes a long time because we're right. meeting for 40 minutes a week or whatever. Um, but you can do you know a big chunk of this in a couple hours if you're at home focused on it. So, okay. so I would just each reading focus on something and and take notes of what you see, and and I think that that helps you uh, not forget stuff. It helps you focus because with each reading you're you're, you're looking at it different. You're looking at it afresh because you're looking for something specific mm -hmm. kind of thing. So hopefully uh, hopefully that helps you. So uh, we're on verse 9. And did dare not pronounce <clears throat> against him a railing judgment. What if Who? I disputed? I'm not going to do it. Do oh, did I miss one? That's an in-depth. Oh, yeah, that was, oh, yeah, that was why. Okay. So I'm only doing the ones that okay. are the, the, gotcha. the main ones. Now, if you want to do the other ones, you can. Like, if you want to chart them all. But you should indicate somehow that, that it's indented. Okay, so, uh, yeah, pronounce is the next one. So who, who did not dare pronounce? Michael. Okay. Pronounce what? judgment when did he not pronounce railing judgment in the past yeah when he disputed with the devil, yeah, disputed with the devil. oh specific yeah. it, well it, tell, it does yeah. tell you in that mm -hmm. case where I don't know but I really want to no. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. but yeah. it doesn't okay. tell us uh, where this happened, you know, I doubt they were at a Starbucks. I just wonder where this conversation happened. Um, why? Yeah, so this gets this one gets yeah, kind of hard. This is kind of getting to the You're getting into the meaning. The and meaning so what I did book. here was I put a little asterisk and I put over the body of Moses, which is not grammatically the answer to like why or or I mean it's not the it's not the answer to the to his motivation in not doing it, but it does sort of tell you um, what why what was going on that this dispute came about. So again, you know, some of these things, none of this stuff is like a straight jacket that should prevent you. I just go, hey, this is what was going on. So 
even though I didn't answer his why, it, it at least gives me a clue as to the why in terms of what was happening there. This, do you see what I did? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, and how did he do it? I put not. <laughs> he did not do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, in nine, rebuke. But said the Lord, rebuke you. We don't have to bother with said, do we? Uh, yeah, you could you could do that. We could know. do that one. I I, I skipped it. Okay. I don't know. I probably just missed it. Rebuke's more interesting. I mean, it's going to be. Yeah, Michael. It's going to be said. Right. Yeah. And then the other things will all be the same. Yeah. No, that's, oh, because of the butt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what I mean. So when you see okay. and or butt, gotcha. it's usually going to be the same. Gotcha. So I did not, I, that was a, an oversight on my part. We should have done it, but it, it's going to be the same as the other one. Okay. So if we go to rebuke, um, who rebuke? What? You, you, you the, devil. the devil. When? This immediate phrase, the Lord rebuke you, is in the present tense, but in context, we're talking about something that happened in the past. Yeah, but it's, it's, um, Right. So again, this is one of those where what I put was um, when Michael disputed with the devil, even though that's not when, that, that's not technically when maybe the rebuke occurred. Well, it is when the rebuke occurred, but the Lord wasn't the one, Michael's the one that says the Lord rebuke you. So I just put this again, I just put a star there saying that's when, that's when the Lord rebuking when that message was delivered was when Michael disputed with the devil. Uh, where? <coughs> Doesn't say. How about why? Same as the other one I put over the body of Moses with a little asterisk next to it. You can you can get extremely precise about this, you know, and that wouldn't be the answer, but um, what we're trying to get is the flow of who's doing what, what's happening. So, you know, as long as you kind of make it clear to yourself in your notes. What about uh, these men revile the things which they do not understand. Who, do, who reviles? These men. What do they revile? Things they don't understand. When do they do that? They're doing it now, or at that time he's writing. Does it say where? Say why? Doesn't doesn't really say why, does it? Does it say how? Unreasoning animals. Yay! I'm going to get one of those. Uh, I don't even know if they do this anymore, but when I was in school, they had like the stars, the gold. The, I heard they don't do that much anymore. Not much. You don't want to make the kids without the stars feel. No, we have to feel bad. Everybody's yelling. But um, 
But I'll tell you, the school I went to, people would like peel somebody's stars <laughs> off and stick oh. them on their own. And <laughs> I can tell you the story. I tell you the story of my son. You know they, how they flip those cards? Well, he is so logical. I remember one time the teacher was sharing. You know, we were at a conference sharing that uh, you know we needed. You know, she needed to work with him. We all needed to work together to get him to be a little more more responsive to to things. And so, you know. And he's autistic, so he's like, whatever the rules are, it's like, hey, you know, what happened here? And so, because she's like, well, I told him, you know, I'm going to flip your card, and he just kind of looked at me and continued to talk. I flipped it, and he like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, and, and then, of course, she shortcutted the thing by letting us know, and Zach was outraged by that, because he's like, I had three more flips. <laughs> like, like, I don't understand. I knew the process. I was willing to go to the, you know, like, that's not how that works. <laughs> But, you know, you can see. Oh, because the consequences only. Right. Happen. So you have like a warning, then you have like a yellow, then an orange, <laughs> then a red, whatever. And so he was like, I was, I had something to say. I figured I could finish it within three flips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. <laughs> so that's sometimes you just, you don't think through the, the oh, way it comes the across, way gonna the way they're going to think about right. it. I and I, as much as we were like, you can't do that, that's disrespectful, there was kind of like, well, they designed that system. They really <laughs> did. Was kind of, he, he was like, right, he was following the rules. Yeah, he's like, that's not fair. She sure, she skipped the flip. She <laughs> shortcutted the process. <laughs> it's too funny. Yeah, so you have to, whatever. It, he's come a long way. Uh, that boy. Anyway. Um, Can I back up? Yeah. Um, so these men reviled, since there's an and, they reviled what? Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Which one? But these men so revile the things the which things they do. And would you also put and the things which they know by instinct? Yeah, so no would also be, we're, let's, is the next one we're going to do. So the same thing, Thanks. right? Revile. Who, so another we're verb. So we're no. doing revile. We did revile, now we're going to do no. The verb no. The verb no. To know. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So who who knows these men? What do they know? Things. Things they know by instinct. When do they know it now? Doesn't say where. Doesn't say why. And then for how is where I put by instinct. So I have verse ten. It's, yeah, so he introduces, uh, so verse 10, the verb is know, these men, what, I just put things, when, now, nothing for where or why, and then for how I have instinct, by instinct. So, so that, should, that should show you, uh, that's an exception to what I said earlier, that most of the time when you have a butter and ham, they're going to be the same. They're not always the same because in this case he makes a slight distinction in how he's explaining. Uh, so verse 10, destroyed. By these things they are destroyed. Who destroyed? Hmm. It's implied, but it's implied not stated. God? Yeah, but it's not stated. So you could put... You could sort of put God in parentheses, I think, or I, I just put an X there because it doesn't say. When you fill those in, like I said, when you put God, you, you, you're kind of starting to do a little bit of interpretation. Um, although that's pretty pretty basic uh, observation, so I'm, uh, I think it's okay. But I just put an X there for what? What was destroyed? They, these men, they is right, and they refers back to these men. Does it say when? Where? Why? 
why these things tells us more. So yeah, so what about how? how? That's what I have under how. By okay. things they know by instinct. Those things destroy them. That's how they're dis destroyed. Could be why. See, you know, you, you know what I mean? Depending on how you're looking at it. That's why I said there's not a, uh, a not everybody's page is going to look exactly the same, but those elements should be there. Okay, uh, verse 12, these are the men who are hidden reefs in your love feast. We have that different, that different form of verb, are. Uh, they're all indented, right? These are the men who are hidden in you. So, who are? These men. These the men, men, yeah. Uh, what are? Uh, hidden reefs. Hidden reefs, yeah. When are they hidden reefs? Yeah, I would. Kind so when they when they when. yeah when they feast with you and your love feast, I pulled it's from the second piece of that. Or, well, I actually, sorry, I have for when I have when they feast with you and where I have in your love feasts. Oh, I see. You know, you could do it the other way though. Does it say why they're hidden reefs? It tells you a lot about it, but I don't it think sure it does. Why. But I don't know that it tells you why. What do we do with that caring for themselves? These men are reefs. Yeah, so when they feast with you. Is when, where, in the love feast. So why? This is an interpretive question. Are yeah. all these things he gives you an explanation of why he's why they're uh, hidden reefs or how they're hidden reefs? I don't know. So I, I just left those closed. The uh, I didn't put anything there because I'm I'm assuming that we're going to learn more as we keep going. But you. You could work through that, and maybe I can see how you might make a different decision on that. Again, the, the point of this isn't to be, the point of this is for you to develop a method of tracking these verbs so that it makes sense to you. Um, you, you, want to, um, you want to try to stay within these categories consistently, but as you're taking notes, there are times you may, you may put other notes in there. I try to keep it to a word or two, which means those kind of things like that tend to be, you know, stuff I just come back to. You might not do it that way though, and that's okay. Um, okay. Then we go down to, uh, it was also about these men that Enoch prophesied. I have another question, sorry. Uh, yeah. No, that's fine. Would you go so far to say, back to the verb are, yeah. these men are clouds, trees, waves, stars. You could. That's what I was saying. You could you could pull a lot of that into there, but because I'm really focusing on the, the main point in the argument. So if we read through the main sort of trajectory, it'd be these men revile the things they do not understand and the things which they know by instinct. By these things they are destroyed. Woe to them. These are the men who are hidden reefs in your love feast. It was also about these men that Enoch prophesied. So because it's because we're only focusing on the stuff that's not indented, I wouldn't pull all that stuff in because that's gonna drag you into that other stuff. Right. Okay. <clears throat> but there's nothing wrong with sort of putting a note on the side saying, you know, kind of come back to this, there's a lot here. Sometimes I kind of just put a little uh, 
mark there, an arrow, so I know that, hey, wait a minute, you might want to revisit this when you come back around. Um, so prophesied, who prophesied? Enoch, what did he prophesy? Yeah, the, the, the Lord came to judge, or the Lord came. When did he prophesy? In the seventh generation? Yeah, in the seventh generation from Adam. Where did he prophesy? <coughs> it doesn't say. Now, I want, I, want to, I want to mention something here, just this is a good example. You could perhaps go study Enoch and figure out where he was and all of that, but you don't want to do that kind of stuff because what, what you're trying to focus on here is what does Jude emphasize? So I've had that question come up like, well, like in some letters you're like, well, it doesn't say it here, but we know from some other place where that happened. Don't bring that in because what you're trying to see is the texture of the text the author presented. You can go back later and do that, but... In right now, we just want to see what does Jude what does Jude share? Okay, what about why? Does he say why? Does he not? Does he say why he not prophesied? <clears throat> uh, yeah, he he doesn't really specifically say. I mean, we can sort of assume. Why, but he doesn't say, so I didn't put anything there. And I didn't put anything how. We don't know whether, or Jude doesn't tell us whether he wrote this down or preached it in a sermon or whatever. <clears throat> he just doesn't, doesn't say. Behold, but there's another verb here though. What did he say? Behold, the Lord came. Yeah. Who came? That's great. That's great. So obviously this verb came has a, an object to it, but the object is sort of implied. It's not stated here. He came, the Lord came. <clears throat> well, he came, came to earth, came back here. You know, it, it's not implied. So I didn't put anything there. Okay. When did he come? doesn't say what where yeah. sort of that's the same kind of thing he doesn't say no. although we you know why did he come would the how be with many thousands of his how would be with many thousands of holy ones yep yeah. and it also tells you uh, why that's the two yeah to execute judgment That's right. So, so we're can, going. Is it okay to put him here, or will we carry him? No, you can still put him here because we're execute is going to be the next one we we do. Okay. All right. Any last questions before we wrap up for today? This is fun. All right. So we'll. I like it, but it's. So next week we'll we'll hopefully we'll be able to finish the these up. There's a few more, and then. Um, and then uh, continue to work on the number seven stuff. And then in a couple weeks, we'll go through that together. All right. Okay, thank you. All right. yeah.